A black hole has been discovered near the Earth, and it's really close to us. You can find out how big the danger is in this video, so be sure to stay tuned until the end, and if you like it, I'd be galactically happy to get a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this important topic to even more people. Thank you, friends, and welcome. I don't know about you, but black holes are the most fascinating objects in the universe to me. With their massive compressed mass and density, even more light can escape them. Hence the name black hole. And one of the biggest cosmic mysteries is whether these black holes lead anywhere. Logically, nobody knows because nobody has ever flown into them. Firstly, it would be too far away. And secondly, it would be quite deadly. And even with the best telescopes, we can't see into the center of black holes because where light can no longer escape, we can no longer perceive any optical information. But there are of course many theories. The most exciting one from my point of view is that black holes could perhaps be connections to another place. Some cosmologists even say that our universe is located within the event horizon of an even larger gigantic black hole, and that perhaps the black holes in our universe could in turn be gateways to secondary universes. Write me your ideas in the comments. What would happen or where would you end up if you flew into a black hole? I'm looking forward to your creative ideas and maybe we can get an interesting discussion going in the comments. So this new discovery is all the more spectacular. A black hole near the Earth and really close. You've probably already seen the constellations Orion and Taurus in the night sky. According to Greek mythology, the hunter Orion fights the bull, which is not a normal bull, but the god Zeus in a transformed form. And Taurus is home to the Hyades star cluster, which can even be seen with the naked eye on very clear nights. The Hyades is an open star cluster that forms the V-shaped head of Taurus and is only 150 light years away from Earth. This star cluster contains more than 700 stars and stretches through space in an irregular, loose arrangement. The Hyades also has two so-called tidal tails, long elongated areas in which other stars are pulled along with the cluster. And 150 light years is really on the doorstep in cosmic terms because you have to remember that our galaxy, the Milky Way, measures at least 100,000 light years. In a galaxy measuring 100,000 light years, an object that is 150 light years away is really close enough to touch. And here's the thing, we have now discovered a black hole there. Researchers have long had the idea that there is a black hole in the Hyades, because many black holes are formed from massive stars that end in a spectacular supernova explosion. So it's like when you've accumulated so much mass after the all-you-can-eat buffet that you burst and cause space-time to collapse. In the center of star clusters such as the Hyades, there are many massive stars that are very likely to become black holes after their supernova. A small problem, the discovery of black holes in open star clusters is quite a challenge. In contrast to closed star clusters, in which the stars are closer together, open star clusters are super loosely organized. This means that the effects of black holes on the movements of the stars are more difficult to detect, and it is precisely through such indirect effects of black hole gravity on nearby stars that these monsters are usually discovered. Now, however, a team from the University of Barcelona has really dug into the data from the Gaia telescope. This space telescope of the ESA, the European Space Agency, has optically scanned the entire sky with high precision in three dimensions. The amount of data is gigantic, and there are still a lot of secrets lying dormant in it, because it simply takes forever to analyze everything. Even if you are an overworked astronomer with no private life who sits in a quiet room all day, at least that's how I imagine astronomers to be. And what the researchers find in this data is crazy. The astronomer involved, Stefano Torniamenti, says, Our simulations can only reproduce the size and mass of the Hyades if there are several black holes in the center of the star cluster. A black hole just around the corner, or even several. The simulations suggest that there could be at least two or three black holes in the center of the Hyades. These black holes could be located either in the center of the star cluster or in its immediate vicinity. 
On the one hand, this is totally cool because it gives us the best chance yet to study black holes, but it's also a bit scary, and I can already hear some of you asking with trepidation, Are we all going to be swallowed up and spaghettified? A black hole close to Earth could exert an influence on nearby stars and planets due to its enormous gravitational force. This could influence the movement of celestial bodies in our immediate cosmic neighborhood. However, there is no direct threat of the Earth being swallowed by this black hole because these are only stellar black holes and not supermassive ones like the one at the center of our galaxy. So instead of several million or billion solar masses, we are talking about a few hundred at most. If you were an alien on a planet in the Hyades cluster, you could easily be worried, but 150 light years is still a safe distance for such stellar black holes, so there is no need to panic. And instead, the joy of this spectacular find prevails. Mark Gilis from the University of Barcelona describes it like this. Our observation helps us to understand how the presence of black holes influences the evolution of star clusters. At the same time, our result gives us insights into how these mysterious objects are distributed in our galaxy. It really is a stroke of luck, because the Hyades are the closest star cluster to Earth. Discovering a black hole there is an absolute jackpot, and it could well be that there are actually no black holes closer to us. Which is probably a very good thing, because I don't know about you, but I have little motivation to be spaghettified by a gravity monster. As soon as these neighboring gravity monsters have been investigated, I'll let you know the findings immediately, which of course is only possible if you follow my channel. I know from the YouTube statistics that over half of the viewers have not subscribed at all. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss another galactic video and you'll help me immensely. So people, press the subscribe button now. Thank you very much. Black holes are dominated by gravity. But bizarrely, gravity is something that we still barely understand. How is gravity created? Why does it work the way it does? Are there gravity quantum particles? It's all a big mystery. That's why there are already researchers who say that gravity doesn't exist. But then what holds everything together? If you fancy a real physical identity crisis, then join me on a wild journey through space and time in the video below and find out why gravity might be an illusion. Very exciting, be sure to watch it. And if you want to support my work, you are welcome to visit the Astro Shop and get the t-shirts from the videos and real meteorites. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.